Good evening, students. A warm welcome to today's webinar on the topic Irish Pharmaceutical Industry Awaits Science Graduates. Today's webinar is hosted by EasyLink Academy in association with Sahridaya College of Advanced Studies and Christ College. Today's webinar will be highly beneficial for pharmaceutical students and also science students with high marks and also with their subsidiary as chemistry. EasyLink Academy consists of a group of directors who has over 20 years experience in the field of education. Today's webinar will be led by our executive director, Mr. Sony Vergis, who will be introducing you to global education. To describe Sony sir in just a sentence, he is a person with over 15 years of experience in the industry, and that will be a great input to you students. Okay. Sony sir has joined our session today. Shall we start Sony sir? Yeah, Anushri, thank you so much. Um, can you confirm the audibility, please? Yes, sir. You are very much audible. Yeah. Now, can I? Can I present from my laptop? Anushti, I need uh, technical help. So uh, you start presenting now. Once I'm ready, then I'll let you know. OK, sir. Please send someone for this PPT sharing. Anishri, you are ready? Can you share the PPT? Yes, sir. Just a minute. And please ask the admin to make me also co-host so that I can share my presentation later. Yes, students, uh, sorry for a technical delay. Let's wait for a minute and then we can start. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, respected senior management team from Sahardaya College and Christ College. Our faculty members from Griffith College will join in sometime. And my dear students, thank you so much for joining in time and warm good evening to each one of you. In spite of all the options, we have decided to invest. I'm carefully using this word 
we have decided to invest one hour time to plan our career and especially in pharmaceutical industry in Europe with a main focus on Ireland. So thank you so much for your participation and time. Let us start this program. 6.30, we will have an official inaugural function and we will introduce our other guests also. I'll tell you the background of this initial introduction session. Yeah, let me speak in Malayalam. Uh, introduction session because now from 6.30, we are going to listen to one particular college, which is Griffith College from Ireland. Yeah, around 50 years experience. 10,000 students still go to the party. Pharmaceutical IT magazine programs in Ireland. Griffith College the faculty will be They will be discussing about particular programs from that campus. Okay, so I thought I must give you an introduction about the industry and all global opportunities in advance so that you get a picture of programs why we are speaking about Ireland, why are we talking about this particular program, pharmaceutical technology program, and why Griffith College, if unless you get a comparison, unless you go through a supermarket, you will not get an idea about how to choose it. Yeah, so. Aditha, 20 minutes around or 15 minutes around, we'll spend on an introduction. After that, we can move to uh, the, the official program. Yeah. Look at the first slide. Why global education? Benefits of international education. I don't want to compare Indian education and international education and say this is better than this. No, there is no comparison like that. But if at all, today's topic is international education. So if at all, we are talking about global education. Why? What are the specialties of global education? And this is meant for, especially for the students who are attending this program for the first time. Then our third, B-Farm, Farm D, what do you think? Level 2 and Level 3 seminar will come to you. But we have already talked about some of the topics. But Nooril Param Guttigal, they are attending this program for the first time. So for their, for their benefit, I am just explaining what are the key points. Point number one, you get wide range of programs yeah when after chemistry when i i have counseled a lot of chemistry physics and zoology students many of them even after doing a pg program asked me sir other than teaching other than my core subject what else can i do look at the question msc kadinu chodikkanda chodyam alla idu pakshe kutigal ariyada chodichu pogunnadana and the masters kadinu today i have got a cgpa score of xy core alla ade Teaching Allah, what else I can do? It's not that teaching is bad, teaching is very good, but Allah, our end of options on the Narayana would agree. Amerim, Namal Muna Nala programs of Arjunda, Nurtu, because that's what we have the range available in Kerala or in South India. Yeah, at the moment we look at globally, then we can tell them for a chemistry student, then I got the chemistry sub item, but it's a little bit under economic crisis. Okay. Physics, chemistry, sub-bye, but it's a good pharmaceutical program. And her name is Sheetal. She's traveling tomorrow. So, I have done my chemistry as a or main. Yeah, my background, background is like this. In the way, MSc is not teaching. I don't know what to do. Globally, there are three options. For example, we can tell them you can go for pharmaceutical industry, you can go for regulatory affairs, you can go for drug discovery, you can go for quality assurance, you can go for manufacturing, you can go for uh, food technology, etc. In the range of the food, you can go to the supermarket. I can take my leisure time and I can choose as per my skill and interest. When I say skill and interest, I am talking about your academics as skill and your real interest in life as interest. Because Palapurum, interested a lot of Magalagali, or Jolie Kitram and other excitement under Palapurum Joliki Kairi, Adite, Aru Master Nulil, A Jolie Witter, where a Jolie and Nishina Dandam is to the tune of 40 percentage. For the uh, Anushri Paranaganam, I am from the industry. I worked 11 years in Unilever, the Mukaria of the Gabini Arikim, Hindustan Unilever, the Mubiak in the Life Poem, Lexum, Muhammad, Pierce, the Kaverna, Logos Lecture Melia from Siji Company. I was there for 11 years. Then I worked for Lions Communications, heading Kerala and Tamil Nadu for one of their divisions. Okay, in the Idwatan Yorshakal and Jolichi the Po, Senior Management of Jolichi the Po, Uttiri Campus, we have done campus interviews for them. Elanj Edgar Japundaya, while you're the Richard River, without proper guidance, people are choosing 
their career options within six months around 40 percent of students are looking for a change you're a tragedy at least he class at our food okay so go to the supermarkets is link academy is inviting you even post this program if you have a confusion on deciding your career options inside india outside india ticket to saujani mai yeah and protege to the program host in the saturday link i still will go because no ticket to saujani mai come for a discussion on an appointment sit with career guides and within india outside india discuss all the options and choose it okay i'm going to think that i'm going to wide range of programs and i'm going to mingle we may have to think globally that's my first point second is practical applications when we say in India, 80% of theory and 20% of internals and practicals, it is almost reverse in, in Europe or in other uh, international uh, uh, educations. Yeah. Uh, uh, normally, it is 70% practical orientations. Yeah. About the case study, seminar, industry, for example, in the number of the program, pharmaceutical technology, Griffith College, the program conducted in Inno Pharmayana. Look at, look at the combination. A program is sponsored by one of the largest pharmaceutical company in the world. And the person who is going to speak to you today is the director of the company for the academic division. So look at the industrial approach they have, the practical orientation they have. Yeah, interview in a Balapurum Boydi Kimbo, interview board, Ningo Chodikina, or Wali Chodium. Why should I take you in the Ladana? Why should I take you in the Kaparaimbo? 90% of the market where it's a wonder, Uttara Marayan Budimutana, Uttari Kutikajan Kanditun. Yeah, so the why should I take you? If I give a chance, what can you do for us? What can you do for the company? Why so the man? But say, Namala Nerem, Newton's law for everybody continues in a state of rest or of uniform motion of the party, then they will make you to stop and say, academically, we have senior performance, but how will you convert all these academics to practical orientation? Project management is Kipajida, Aling internship in a serious side to Ganada in the Palakutigal. So, international education will take care of that. Third point is critical skill shortage. Ella Rajatum, Ella Megalekim, Urupole, Jolie Sadi Lundaganamana, Murbadamilla. Util Manasel Kuruchevakana, Ella, Ella Rajangalilum, Ella Samstanangalilum, Ella Megalekim, Urupole, Jolie Sadi Lundaganamana, Murbadamilla. Ningle Google Adja Manslau, critical skill shortage of a country. Kerala Alkari Barayno, mechanical engineers are huge in number. Let's say 10,000 mechanical engineers passed out. But say 1,000 vacancies are Kerala Tilulu. In the Yamatu, balance 9,000 may have to wait. Nothing else. Or may have to move to a country where there is a huge shortage of mechanical engineering. Upper Germany Karam Barayno, any lecture Kanakana, mechanical engineers now shown. Ireland Barayno, any lecture Kanakana, pharmaceutical industry, Alkar Aushan. Kerala till pharmaceutical industry illa so b farm garna kutigal farm di garna kutigal oru pakshe frustrated aanu because avaru avaru ee course ni join cheyumbo avare manasil veli sopanangal undayirunnu oru pakshe doctor history okke edukum patients inde ellam kettu kazhinj problem fix cheythu kazhinjal yeah solutions fix cheythu kazhinjal then i'll get a chance to maybe write the medicines maybe i'll counsel the patients i will take care of them later oru kutti ennu nalla parannu vaana sir njangalude hospital njangalude college inde hospital il polum njangalku idine oru we don't get a chance to interact with our patients. In the Parayimbo, you will do this job if you are going for a hospital related kind of a job. Or if you are going to pharmaceutical industry, then you have regulatory affairs, quality control, drug discovery, or three options. Okay, but critical skills sort of every day in the Ladana Padan. Kerala Pache, Koravana, because pharmaceutical company will tell the existence in the lab. So you may not get a chance. And then there are some unemployment in the lab. Chadi Kerry, unemployment in the Varja Kerry. I'm going to have a Okay, and then there are some Kerala till you may not get a chance to work for pharmaceutical industry, got a Pataraging Lund. I'm going to talk to no can. Globally, she can better than the Kutigalka. Critical skills shortage in Oki, Raging Lund, and Jagan better than the Kutigalka. Placements are very high. Yeah, now I don't want to explain much on the fourth point. Let the Griffith team explain. I believe they have got a track record of 90 to 95 percent placement for the last 10 to 12 years. Imagine 100 students in a class and 95 are placed. Okay, that's the system. Let them explain it. Scholarship options they will take you through in detail. But one thing I can assure there are a lot of colleges and a lot of countries are giving you scholarships. For example, Germany is saying it is absolutely free education, don't pay anything to me. Look at this. And Ireland, some of the colleges like Griffith is saying 30% scholarship. Australia is talking about 40% scholarship. So it's not all about money. It's all about how do you respond. 
if there is an opportunity if i have the gets if i am willing to move then there is a country waiting for you same within within india yeah search for the right profiles come to career guides they will kind of tell you how to look for a job or how to fix at the right career profile for you yeah idana first slide il nammal nere samaya koru kondu valare speed il paranju poguna or point now second slide introduction to pharmaceutical industry yeah pharma industry now why are we talking about pharma there are so many other options okay food technology and pharmaceutical idu rendum in the logathile etto fastest growing industry aan so if you think why this man is talking about pharmaceutical today in the chochal nammal parayum pharmacy options undallo hospitals la joli cheyalo nokka parayumba parayum fastest growing endu parayumba etto kudal revenue generate cheyina ningal orthu nokkiya madi or doctor pakshe adheham or maasam prescribe cheyda marundhangalde in companygalde ennam ഒരു വ്യക്തിയാണ് പക്ഷെ ഒരു വ്യക്തി അവിടെ ഉണ്ടാക്കിയ പീപ്പിൾ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ റവന്യൂസ് നൂറ് മടങ്ങ് ഉണ്ടാവും അവരുടെ ഫാമസൂറ്റികളുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെടുത്തിയ റവന്യൂസ് അപ്പൊ റവന്യൂസ് കൂടിയ സ്ഥലത്ത് പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ കൂടണം ആൾക്കാരുടെ കൂടുതൽ ആവശ്യം ഉണ്ടാകും സോ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ ജോലി സാധ്യതയുള്ള ഒരു മേഖലയാണ് ഫാമസൂറ്റിക്കൽ പോയിന്റ് നമ്പർ വൺ പോയിന്റ് നമ്പർ ടു ആരൊക്കെയാണ് ഈ മേഖലയിൽ ലീഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഒന്ന് ജർമ്മനി ഒന്ന് അയർലൻഡ് ഒന്ന് യു കെ ഇത് മൂന്ന് നമ്മൾ അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് നല്ലതാണ് അടുത്ത സ്ലൈഡിൽ ഞാൻ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് വൈ ജർമ്മനി വൈ അയർലൻഡ് ആൻഡ് വൈ യു കെ yeah vyaktamayda adine kurichu arinjirikanam and finally depending upon your academics and your interest you can choose your programs yeah i am moving a little fast two types of jobs and this is meant for b farm and pharmaceutical students you can either go for your public health clinical pharmacy therapeutics pediatric kind of options okay but then if this is x then pharmaceutical industry will be 10x okay appo hospital relation റിലേറ്റഡ് ഏരിയാസ് ഒത്തിരി ഉണ്ട് ഞാൻ പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് കാണിച്ചു വരാം അതിന്റെ പത്ത് മടങ്ങോളം വേക്കൻസികൾ വരുന്നതാണ് നമ്മൾ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ ഫാർമസ്യൂട്ടിക്കൽ ബിസിനസ് ടെക്നോളജി ഡ്രഗ് ഡിസ്കവറി ഫുഡ് സയൻസ് ഡ്രഗ്സ് ടോക്സിക്കോളജി റെഗുലേറ്ററി അഫയേഴ്സ് എക്സെട്രാ എക്സെട്രാ ഈ ഒരു അന്തരം മനസ്സിലാക്കണം ഒരു സ്ഥലത്ത് നൂറ് വേക്കൻസി ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മറ്റേ സ്ഥലത്ത് ഇൻഡു ടെൻ ടൈംസ് ഇത് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ സാധിച്ചാൽ ഐ തിങ്ക് യു വിൽ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വൈ ഫാർമസ്യൂട്ടിക്കൽ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ഇസ് സോ ബിഗ് ടുഡേ യാ മൂവിങ് ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞിരുന്ന രാജ്യങ്ങളെ കുറിച്ച് ഞാൻ ഒരു കമ്പാരിസൺ തരാന്ന് മൈ മെയിൻ ജോബ് ഈസ് ടു ടേക്ക് യു ത്രൂ എ സൂപ്പർ മാർക്കറ്റ് ആൻഡ് യുവർ ജോബ് ഈസ് ടു ചൂസ് ദ റൈറ്റ് വൺ and no one should push anyone for a, a particular college or for a country but this is the comparison look at this yeah ireland uk why europe il in english samsarikkana rajyangal ireland uk um aanu point number 1 point number 2 why are you specialization yan paranju critical skill shortage ee rendu rajyangalil pharmaceutical il kooduthu undu oru pakshe nammalum samsarikkunnathu mechanical aayirengil nammal adhiyam germany kuri samsarichene innu samsarikkunnathu accounts and management are in the uk kuri samsarichene so every country will have their own critical skill shortage civil engineering anengil new zealand ne kuri samsarichene every country will have this yeah so ibade we have wide range of options english speaking country and the biggest speciality is one year masters ortu vekkanam one year master programs valiya 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 point aanu yeah in one year time in 10 months of classroom and two months of internship you will do your masters and you have two years of stay back yan oru varsham padikkan povumbo ഒരു പക്ഷെ പഠിച്ചു ഇറങ്ങി എനിക്ക് കിട്ടിയ ജോലി വിചാരിച്ചതുപോലെയുള്ള ജോലി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പോലും ഐ ഹാവ് ടു മോർ ഇയേഴ്സ് ടു സ്റ്റേ ദർ ഇൻ വർക്ക് ഓക്കെ മൂന്ന് വർഷം വിസയും കൊണ്ടാണ് ഞാൻ പോകുന്നത് സോ മൈ റിസ്ക് ആൻഡ് ടെൻഷൻസ് ആർ വെരി ലോ ഇൻ കമ്പാരിസൺ ആൻഡ് യു ഹാവ് ഗോട്ട് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഫേമസ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റീസ് നോ വൈ പീപ്പിൾ ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ജർമ്മനി ബിക്കോസ് ദേ സെ ദർ വെരി ഫേമസ് ഫോർ ഹെൽത്ത് കെയർ ടു ഇയർ മാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ആണ് എയ്റ്റീൻ മന്ത്സ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റേ ബാക്ക് ഉണ്ട് വലിയ സാധ്യതയുള്ള രാജ്യമാണ് പക്ഷെ യു മസ്റ്റ് ബി റെഡി ടു മൂവ് ഫ്രം ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ടു ജർമ്മൻ ജർമ്മൻ ഭാഷയിൽ ആറുമാസത്തെ ഒരു ഫൗണ്ടേഷൻ കോഴ്സ് പഠിച്ച് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ജർമ്മൻ ഭാഷ പഠിച്ചതിന് ശേഷം അവിടുത്തെ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റികളിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ജർമ്മൻ ഭാഷയിൽ പഠിക്കുന്നതാണ് ജോലി കിട്ടാനായിട്ട് ഉത്തമം പക്ഷെ ഫീസ് ഉണ്ടാവില്ല നിങ്ങളുടെ ഈ ബേസിക് ഫൗണ്ടേഷൻ ലാംഗ്വേജ് പ്രോഗ്രാം കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റികൾ ആർ ആബ്സല്യൂട്ട്ലി ഫ്രീ ടു ആൻഡ് വൈ കാനഡ ആൻഡ് ഓസ്ട്രേലിയ ഇഫ് യു ആർ കീൻ ടു ദീസ് കൺട്രീസ് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു യു കെ ആയർലൻഡ് ജർമ്മനിയുമാണ് ഫാർമസ്യൂട്ടിക്കലിന്റെ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ സാധ്യതകൾ അതിൽ അയർലൻഡ് ആണ് ലീഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ പക്ഷേ ഇഫ് യു ആർ സോ കീൻ ടു ഗോ ടു ഓസ്ട്രേലിയ ഓർ കാനഡ ഫോർ സം റീസൺസ് യാ ദെൻ ദർ ആർ ഓപ്ഷൻസ് ദർ ഓൾസോ ടു ഇയർ മാസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് സ്പീക്കിംഗ് കൺട്രീസ് ആയിരിക്കും ഞാൻ കുറച്ച് പ്രോഗ്രാംസിന്റെ സാമ്പിൾസ് കാണിക്കുന്നു ഇന്ന് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ഓഫ് ദീസ് പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് ഇൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ഇൻ ഗ്രിഫിത് ദർ ഇസ് വൺ ഇയർ മാസ്റ്റർ പ്രോഗ്രാം ഇൻ ഫാർമസ്യൂട്ടിക്കൽ ബിസിനസ് ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജി ദർ ഇസ്
combined with management studies, pharmaceutical formulation and business strategy, quality by design, drug toxicology, all these options are, are, are you know, later on, you can come to us if you want more details uh, about these programs. Yeah? But two programs from Griffith Island we'll discuss today in detail. Yeah? Master of Public Health is another option. Then you have Nyanartha Baranya, Canada, Poganda Worker, two year and master programs under pharmaceutical and food science programs under master of pharmacy programs under. Yeah. And you have options in New Zealand, yeah, postgraduate diploma in health science, one year programs in Dapo. It's a range, Katapunda, Padunda, Yangal Rotta program, Athra Kitio, Yangal Vero, the name which Katilan and Paradina get it. And what are numbers there under so you can contact us even after the program so for getting more details. Family students in Matram Siavana, or Willy program on a clinical. Pharmacy practice, yeah, professional practice, Kalarna or program, yeah, uh, OSPAP, pharmacy critical Kesiavana, registration at the Varavana program, Chelecological Pathea, for example, for UK or commentary. I would rather know the Otakola Padikimbo, Armas and Gadim will give you interview chances. Okay, if you make it, proceed. Okay, Alling, you have two years of stay back, and 70 80 percent of students are making it. It's another day to my beauty. Okay, Apa the Manislaki want to walk Sadikinum, and why Ireland? I don't want to spend much time here because. Deepak Sar and um, the head of the department will speak more about it. Look at the, the companies. We are saying pharmaceutical company in Ireland. And I told, well, look at the companies. Yeah, Pfizer and Karyo and the company. Yeah, GSK and Karyo and the company. Vocard, Sun Pharma, Lions Pharma. We're okay. I would do branches or other than Ireland is so famous for pharmaceutical manufacturing in the Buddhism Kundaganam or Arivam Kundaganam. Now, my last slide is about Easling Academy. Why Easling Academy? Uh, what is our role? Yeah, we have got international types across the world, and we are a specialist for getting scholarships. In order, so Ireland, Griffith College, where I have got some of the students, are young and upper thirty-year-old kids. They are getting scholarships. Good little kids. Young and upper thirty-year-old kids. Taxi or the boy, young and picky here and college in the bus and there. Okay, young and one month stay kids. Young and quarantine was taken care. Yeah, we are able to deal and we are able to help the students. And thanks to Griffith College for that. The kind of supports we are able to give yeah, is tremendous. That's one role. Yeah. And look at this now. We are getting a chance to interact with international university professors, directors. Yeah, either international surprise suspend elements in We have the system of giving them chances to interact. Yeah, a lot of short term programs and one year master programs. ILTS, the German Barshagalum, Elam, Namal Handley, and finally end to end services, post landing services. The Bari, Palapurum, Amamara, which of the Chodimana, they were a thicker Yalsare, Ningalka, and the Laosian Can you can you help us even after? Young Lepur by the one of Poika is a show. Okay, put your particular of five mighty particular, but in the ocean, you can call us because we are in touch with the colleges. Yeah, it's a ring supporter, is the academy with Paramatum, and these are the numbers I mentioned. Yeah, so even after you will get a chance to interact with uh, 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 Griffith College team, but on and above, if you have any queries, these are our numbers. You can contact anytime to our career experts for further discussions and one to one discussions. If your parents want to visit office for more details and if you want to have more questions etc etc thank you so much i think at sharp 6 30 we are closing the first part of it now we can go for an official inaugural function and then we can continue with the team of ireland uh, griffith college yeah thank you so much over to you thank you so much sony sir without wasting time i invite jesse ma'am uh, assistant professor chemistry department of sahradaya college of advanced studies for the inaugural function. Thank you, Anisri. Thank you, Anisri. Every endeavor that succeeds is made possible with the cooperative effort of many gifted people who are willing to work and offer the talent, expression, and passion for a common goal. Opportunity is everywhere. The key is to develop the vision to see it. Good evening to one and all. I am Jesse Therian, Assistant Professor in Chemistry Department of Sahurdaya College of Advanced Studies, Kodagara. It is a wonderful day, and I feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to all present here to a brainstorming international webinar on Irish pharmaceutical industry awaits graduates, hosted by Sahurdaya College of Advanced Studies, Kodagara, in association with Griffith College, Ireland, 
and IQAC Christ College Autonomous Irinyalapuda and powered by EC Link Academy Trishur. May the power of positivity and goodness help each of us. Let us begin this webinar with God's grace. I invite Ms. Maria Joshi of English Department for the prayer. My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, in you, is in you. My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, in you, is in you. I praise you with all of my life. I praise you with all of my strength, with all of my life, with all of my strength, all of my hope is in you. My life is in you, Lord, my strength is in you, Lord, my hope is in you, Lord, in you, is in you, in you. Leadership is not a position or title. It is the capacity to translate vision to reality. At the outset, it's my privilege to invite the Executive Director, Reverend Dr. Davis Chinginiaden, for the words of welcome. Father, please. Dear distinguished speakers, faculty members, and participants, very good evening to all of you. The COVID-19 pandemic has been widely determined to be both a health and an economic crisis with updates of progression addressing losses of lives and of jobs. As countries and organizations begin their evolution from initial reactive surprise at the scope and depth of this crisis to strategies for recovery, opportunities arise for change. In this juncture, this webinar on the global education and job careers with the notion of Irish pharmaceutical industry awaits graduates in biotechnology, biomedical, chemistry, pharmacology, and zoology is more fitting to the time. It might surprise you to learn that nine out of 10 of the world's largest pharmaceutical companies are established in Ireland. In Ireland, the pharma companies enjoy the benefits of an English speaking population, friendly business environment, and favorable tax environment and a well educated workforce. Ireland is the largest medtech employer in Europe. This sector employs over 25,000 people directly, and a further 25,000 are employed providing services to the sector. Similar num numbers are also employed in the pharma biotech industry, as well as corporate tax relief. Ireland also offers 25% tax credit on qualifying research and development making it a great incentive for pharmaceutical organizations. It is notable that Griffith College has a well-reputed faculty of pharmaceutical science that enriches the students to work in pharmaceutical jobs and careers across the world. The academic nature of excellence and experience of Griffith College will provide students different local in the pharmaceutical industry. Griffith College is among the largest colleges in Ireland, founded in 1974, remains to be a center for learning excellence since the institution. Griffith College is an institution of international eminence. Students across the world 
study at the college to chase their dreams. The college has collaborated with the reputable international institutions and universities for student exchange and knowledge sharing programs. Scientific and analytical approaches are implemented in teaching methodology there. Besides theory, a greater emphasis is given on practical training. Skill enhancement initiatives are undertaken at the college to instill attitude for evolving technologies among students. Griffith College gives importance to learning beyond classrooms. Close disciplinary group discussions are held to support comprehensive learning. In order to facilitate the higher education in a comprehensive manner, as well as the international job opportunities, we should think globally and to collaborate wherever that is possible. With these raised areas of today's reflections, may I enter into my responsibility of welcome you all to this online podium of encountering the unknown horizons. In order to have valuable insights on global education and careers today, we have eminent personalities like uh, Mr. Finn Parshie, Director of Academic Program in a Pharma, who will provide us the scope and syllabus of pharmaceutical program. I welcome you, Mr. Finn Parshi, to this online platform for a valuable presentation. And we have here Mr. Deepak Lutra, Director, South Asia Admission Office, Griffith College, Ireland, who will give us the wide range scope of international education. And I welcome you, sir, Mr. Deepak Lutra, to the midst of our online times to have your insights for us. Mr. Sony Vargis, we have already heard of him. Career Consultant New Zealand Academy already provided us the opportunities of global education. I welcome Mr. Sony Vargas to the arena of online podium of global education. It is with immense joy we accept the combined effort of Christ College, EasyLink Academy, Sahardaya Institute of Management Studies, and the Chemistry Department of Sahardaya College of Advanced Studies, Kodagara, to conduct this webinar. I wholeheartedly welcome eminent personalities on the desk, like Reverend Dr. Julie Andrews, the principal, Christ College, Irinalakuda, Dr. Robinson, IQAC coordinator, Christ College, Mr. Bichu Vargis of Director, Izilin, Dr. Jensen, the principal of Sahariya College of Advanced Studies, vice principals, Dr. Rani Yenshi and Dr. Matthew Paul, the chemistry department faculty members, assistant professors, Ms. Yazitarian, Ms. Sivaja, Ms. Sivaja, Ms. Maria Joshi, and the Sahariya technical team, and our dear all participants to this international webinar that will be a breakthrough to the graduates who are aspiring higher education and a global career opportunities. Extending best wishes. Thank you, all of you. I can go. Thank you, Father. We all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination dedication, self-discipline, and effort. Let me invite Reverend Dr. Jolly Andrew, CMI, Principal of Christ College Autonomous City, Nyalakuda, for felicitation. Father, please. OK, I think you can all see and hear me. You can all see and hear me, I think so. Yes, Father. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank yes, you. Yes, Father, Father, please continue. Thank you. Father Davis Chagriyaran, the director of Sagardia College of Advanced Studies. Uh, Mipashe, the director 
a pharmaceutical directory. Mr. Deepak from the South Asian Admission Office, Griffith College. Mr. Sony Walkies, the EasyLink Academy Executive Director. Dr. P.O. Jensen, the Principal of Sahadiya College. Dr. Matthew Borukan, the Vice Principal. Dr. Robinson, the IQSC Coordinator of Christ College, Irigalakuda. This is one of, I would say, a very proud moment as far as the Christ College, Irigalakuda, and Sahadiya College of Advanced Studies is concerned. Because we are jointly having a program along with the EasyLink Academy which will be of very high beneficial as far as the students have been concerned. The output of this program would be enabling or helping our students to study about aspects of their education in Ireland. I thank the EasyLink Academy for coming forward for this wonderful webinar opportunity. I am also thankful to the Sakharia College, all the officials who have come forward so that we can have this program as a joint collaboration. We know this is the time of synergy. Only if we come together and work together, will we be able to achieve our common dreams. And our common dream is the future prospect, the bright future prospects of our students. Christ College at present having 4,400 students, 4,454 students, perhaps the college which is having the largest number as far as the student enrollment has been concerned, is very happy to have a tie-up with Sahardaya College of Advanced Studies for this wonderful international webinar. Have a wonderful time. Thank you so much. I place my special appreciation to all the officials of Sahardaya College my thanks to EasyLink Academy as well as the officials of the Griffith College, the officials from pharmaceutical industries, everybody. Thank you so much for this program. Have a nice time. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Discipline is the strongest form of self-love. It is ignoring current pressure for bigger rewards to come. Now, I invite Dr. Pia Jensen, Principal of Sahardaya College, for felicitation. Sir, please. All the respected resource persons, IKC coordinator of Christ College, executive director of Sarudaya College, good evening, one and all. We heard a lot of information from Mr. Sony about career information globally. See, the pharmaceutical industry discovers, develops, produces, and markets drugs or pharmaceutical drugs for use as medications to be administered to patients with the aim to cure them, vaccinate them, or alleviate the symptoms. Pharmaceutical companies may deal in generic or brand medications and medical devices, they are subject to a variety of laws and regulations that govern the patenting, testing, safety, efficacy, and marketing of drugs. As mentioned in the welcome speech, it might surprise to learn that nine out of 10 of the world's largest pharmaceutical companies are established in Ireland. Well, pharma companies enjoys the benefits of an English-speaking population, friendly business environment, and a favorable tax environment, and a well-educated workforce. Ireland boasts one of the world's lowest corporate tax at just 12.5%, making it a desirable location for active business in Europe as well as the rest of the world. 19 of the top 20 global pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical companies are based in Ireland for a good reason. 
by establishing their manufacturing here. This industry has great geographical proximity to the mainland European markets. Are you interested in building a career in the life science sectors by choosing to study in Ireland? You are putting yourself right in the center of the industry. The pharmaceutical industry in Ireland benefits from high employment, high employment rates and well-educated experts from which to live. One of the famous pharma company we are familiar within Ireland is Johnson & Johnson. It has been operating in Ireland for over 80 years. The company employs almost 3,000 people in Ireland. And the list of such companies is very, very long. US companies play a huge role in the Irish pharma industry. Many of the world's largest US pharma companies have multiple premises around Ireland. In short, any, in short, my dear delegates, listen well and act accordingly or practice what you learn from here or from the following talks. I wish all the success for the innovative step taken for the 100% assistance to placement for graduates. Thank you. Best wishes to all the delegates. Thank you. Thank you, sir. If one's actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, and become more, then he will be someone to be looked up to. Let me invite Dr. Matthew Paul Uken, the Vice Principal and Head of the Chemistry Department of Sahirdhar College, for what of time. Sir, please. Distinguished dignitaries participating in the inaugural section of the webinar, respective resource persons from Griffith College, Ireland, and ACLing Academy, Kerala, we have faculty members and students. It is my pleasure to propose a word of thanks on behalf of chemistry department, Sagardaya College of Advanced Studies, Kodagara, Kerala, at the close of the inaugural session of the international webinar on the topic, Irish Pharmaceutical Industry Awaits Graduates, hosted by the Sagardaya College of Advanced Studies, Kodagara, Kerala, in collaboration with Griffith College, Ireland, IQAC Christ College Autonomous, Irinjalakuda, and Easeling Academy. At the outset, I would like to thank the Executive Director, Sagardaya College, Reverend Dr. Davis Singhini Arden, for the hearty welcome he extended to the seminar and for the warm introductory address. Thank you, Father. I thank next Reverend Dr. Jolly Andrews, CMI, Principal Christ College Autonomous in Yalakuda, and Dr. P.O. Jensen, Principal Sagardia College of Advanced Studies, Kodagara, for offering felicitations to the seminar and for giving all the support and contributions for the success of this international webinar. Thank you, Father, and thank you, sir. Our special thanks to Dr. Thibak Lutra, Director, South Asian Admission Office, Griffith College, Ireland. Mr. Finbar Sheehy, Director of Academic Programs, InnoPharma, and Mr. Sonny Varghese, Career Consultant and Executive Director, Easeling Academy, who are the resource persons in the various sessions of the webinar. My thanks are also due to Mr. Biju Varghese, Director, Easeling Academy, for the timely coordination. My sincere thanks are also extended to the authorities of Griffith College, Principal Christ College in Jalakuda, and Dr. Robinson P. Panminiseri, IQAC Coordinator, Christ College, for all the cooperation and timely help they provided for this international webinar. I also thank the Sagardaya College of Management Study for all the facilities they are given. I also thank my colleague, Ms. Jessie Therian and Ms. Sivaja and all the faculty members of Chemistry Department, Sagardaya College, Sri Ranjit Monisa, 
and Dustin of Computer Science Department, Maria Joshi of English Department of Sagradaya College, and Anushri of E-Ceiling Academy for their technical expertise. Thanking each and everyone, Vice Principal Dr. N. Jarani, head of the departments and staff members, and students of Sagradaya College, and welcoming all the faculty members, principals, and students from other colleges wholeheartedly, I conclude. Thank you. Now I invite Sony Sir for the further meeting. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful session. And uh, it's time for team from Ireland now. Uh, let me just uh, put one one sentence on, on each person. Mr. Deepak Lutra. Deepak Sir is our mentor and guide for Ireland education. Uh, he's a veteran from the industry with so many years of experience. Believe me, students, uh, for individual cases, he is one director where we can reach him 24-7 for post-landing services, for academic related, for scholarship, etc., etc. Next time when he visits South India, I hope you will get a chance to meet him directly. And the next person is Mr. Finberg. I have heard him enough in the last orientation program when students are asking about technical questions and job related profiles, etc., etc. Students make use of this opportunity because you have one person from the college, one person from the industry uh, from Ireland to uh, answer your queries. Deepak sir, over to you. Deepak sir, you're on mute. Yeah, thank, you. Done, done. yeah. thank you, Mr. Sony, for mm -hmm. arranging the seminar, first of all. Um, as you already know, my name is Deepak Kutra. I've been working with the college for the last 13 years, and I'd first like to thank yourself. You've been a great support uh, to Griffith College over the years, and you've sent us uh, uh, beautiful students, intelligent students, and specifically from Christ College and specifically from Sardar College. I must thank them, uh, both the Reverend Fathers, basically, and the entire team with such a good, good um, work they have put towards their pharmaceutical students, and we are very happy to receive them, greet them, and make a career out of them. Right. And I'd also like to uh, welcome my, my colleague, Finbam, who is the head of the faculties and director of the program. So he, uh, the, how it will be working that I'll, I'll put you uh, in relation to Ireland. I'll give you some information. Um, Hawaii, Griffith College, wh what have we been doing? Why have we been so successful? And about Ireland, what's your future in Ireland? And in between, I'd like my colleague to take over for the technicalities of the program. And there's a new program which we are launching, which he will also, of course, talk about. Okay, so uh, let's start with the presentation. That's the first slide, Griffith College Ireland. We can go to the second slide. Yeah. So this, the presentation is going to be a very quick presentation about Ireland, about Griffiths College, the program of studies. We have a large portfolio of programs from IT to pharma to uh, media, law. But today's concentration is absolutely on the pharmaceutical industry and the two pharmaceutical glorious programs which we have. Then, of course, the cost of the program I'm going to talk about a little bit about and the working opportunities. Obviously, uh, what were the working opportunities? pre-COVID, uh, uh, present COVID, and post-COVID. And of course, Finber would have to add a few comments on that. Then the post-graduation, uh, it's very important for the student to understand the return of investment in, the, in terms of if he's going to the country, it's not the, only the education, but what does the country give him as benefits as when he's invested his time uh, and his money in education? What can he do afterwards? Next slide, please. So about Ireland, I mean, many people do know Ireland and specifically in Kerala from the last 18 to 24 months because of Mr. Sony's efforts, we've had a, a fabulous cohort of students. Uh, but just to tell you, Ireland is the last stop before America uh, of Europe. I generally laugh with my students, if you're a good swimmer, uh, off the co um, uh, cliffs of Mohor, and uh, if you're a good swimmer, 2,500 miles to New York. But do we know that? But this is we have the capital of our next slide. Uh, the next slide would be telling you about Ireland. We are a purely English-speaking country. Yes, Gaelic is an is official language, but uh, it's the business language, the work language, the general language of Ireland is English. And that's what, and now uh, after Brexit, we could say we're the only 100% English-speaking country in the European Union with a population of about 4.6 million, uh, which is about, say, 46 lakhs, which is just like a community to us. But it's a small, but uh, but uh, the population is small. The euro rate is about 
78, uh, but at the moment, that's, that's, that's an old slide, but with the euro rate at the moment is bouncing between 85 to 89. 35% of the population is under 25, which is a vibrant, uh, a vibrant and young economy, I would say. Ireland is the capital city. Uh, sorry, Ireland's capital city is Dublin. Uh, and Dublin has a population of 1.5, 1.6 million. Approximately 20% of the inhabitants are from overseas. We have a large community. I would say when we say large, it's not as large as Canada or US or probably UK, our neighboring country, UK. So it's 11,000 approximately. Last I checked, was the statistics were around 11,000 Indians, which is a great field to have, that you don't have too much of us also, but not too less of us also, that you can interact with your own and or interact with the international students also. Yes. Next slide. Ireland's weather, cold, cold, coldest. So the students from Kerala need to be prepared with some warm clothes. So Ireland's temperature is uh, the, is a maritime climate. It's beautiful in, in the in the Astamas because you have sunlight coming at about six o'clock in the morning and, and not going out or sun, sun, sunset, as we said, basically not until 9.30 in the night. It's a beautiful temperature that time. Summer can be enjoyed from 21 degrees up to 30 degrees, but winters, it gets really cold and specifically the winds, it can go down to three degrees. And recently, in recent times, the last two to three years we've been receiving some some uh, heavy snowfall also at some um, some some places basically so ireland's special day is saint patrick's day it's something like onam to uh, the students of kerala so it's celebrated quite a bit and just the recognition of the irish community overseas in the next slide in the next couple of slides you will see that how saint patrick's day it's just around the corner on the 17th of march next slide will show you uh, that the, the Irish community is very well respected overseas. Next slide. So the world goes uh, in the respect of the Irish community. The world goes green. The Opera House at Australia goes green for this on the 17th of March. So does the Leading Tower at Piazza, and the water and, and the fountain at the White House goes green. Uh, and also, the, the the next slide will show you, please. The Niagara Falls in Canada, which is an icon in, of the world, also goes green in the respect for the Irish community. And just uh, next slide, the Irish basically go out to uh, <clears throat> basically uh, the Ireland. This this was some facts about Ireland. Basically, it's one of the friendliest countries voted amongst the in Europe, as well as amongst the, uh, the most friendliest country in the world. It's the first in the world for the availability of skilled labor. The first in the world for inward investments and the first in the world for investment incentives. That's how they are, there's a $200 billion investment with about 4,000 plus IT companies with about 19 out of the 20 pharmaceutical giants, second largest into um, aircraft leasing. So there's, these are some hard facts about Ireland just when students do know or some students don't know. So this, this is your choice, basically. Next slide. Ireland is a global destination. Again, of course, uh, if, since we are talking about pharmaceutical, uh, but we cannot deny the fact or not talk about the IT sector. As I said, we're the second largest software producer of the world, the second largest pharmaceutical researcher of the world. And in, com in combination of the BRIC countries, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, combined together, we have a complete investment of the US companies up to $200 billion in Ireland. So it's, it, has, it is a global destination, not only for students, but definitely the, the, the word I use, return of investment when the student basically educates himself, stays back in Ireland, who's going to hire them? It's the companies who are hiring them. It's the companies who have the vacancies and that's what you, the students want. The return of investment is a job at the end of them. So these are the companies which I think Finver will be talking about in, the, in his presentation also. Next slide, please. So about Griffith College, uh, as we, as Mr. Sony was have told so many students, we were established in 1974. We are the 43-year-old college. Uh, we have we have over 9,000 students uh, as as of three campuses: Dublin, Limerick, and Cork. We have a premier campus, which is the oldest campus in Dublin. Then we have an urban campus in Limerick, and we have a uh, and, and and a five-acre uh, campus in Cork. Uh, the Dublin campus is is, is absolutely city center. Uh, 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 next slide, please. Uh, the, if you go through our, uh, um, I mean, presentations, you will see that seven acre campus in heart of the city, it's basically the Dublin campus is where we run 90% of the program. So if you're choosing the pharmaceutical business and technology program, which we are here to talk about and concentrate on, that's run in our Dublin campus. It's a seven acre campus I'm repeating with about 7,000 plus students in the heart of the city. We are on South Circular Road, which is about 15 to 20 minutes walk from the city center. 
Next slide. That's the campus I'm talking about. It's a beautiful campus. Uh, some buildings are very contemporary, but some buildings go as about 250 years old. So it's a mixed campus. Students really enjoy kind of a university environment. I know in colleges in India and universities in India, we are about 150 acres or 250 acres, but having a seven acre campus in the heart of the city and the size of the country and the size of the city, it's huge. It's considered as huge. Accommodation, we have on-campus accommodations, girls, boys separate, uh, specifically during these times, GHR, which we call the Griffith Falls of Residence, is offering a subsidized rate for quarantine days for the first 14 days for the students who are actually going to Limerick or they're going to the core campus where SUNY says students are, are right now quarantined and they will be picked up, a few students are ending up their quarantine in the Dublin campus or some students are extending their quarantine into the full semester or the full year. So we've spent a lot, got great amount of effort and money that the, we have apartments, apartments which has two rooms shared by you know, two students in one room with a kitchen, launch, two toilets. So it's beautiful, must go, go and look at our videos um, uh, uh, for the campus purposes itself. Next slide. These are some college facilities. Uh, we have a small fitness center. We have a Macintosh labs, one student per computer. So you don't have to share. All those students love to carry their own lap laptops. We've, we've got our own um, Leinster School of Music and Drama, which if the students are interested in music or drama. So the next slide would show you another couple of facilities. Next slide. So now I'll actually hand over to our, uh, our head of the faculties, Mr. Finber. Finber, can you take this on please from here? Thanks a million. Hello. Perfect. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Deepak. Um, yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, good evening. Um, it's good afternoon here in Ireland. So uh, many thanks for the opportunity to be here. I'm honoured to present to you, and I'd like to echo Deepak's um, uh, again commentary on success of students that we've had in the past. We've had a very, very successful. Um, you know, process of students coming from India to Ireland and being very, very successful. Um, I'm head of the faculty. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you an overview of two programs that are available to yourselves. One is a master's in pharmaceutical and business and technology. And the other one is a new master's that we've just validated in the areas of digital transformation. And I'll explain what the term digital transformation means. So maybe if you wouldn't mind, we'd move to the next slide and we'll talk particularly about the, the first master. So this master's has been running uh, for the last six years. We've had international cohorts, probably about five years. And this program, uh, I've highlighted some areas in it. This program is, is primarily designed for anybody who wants to work in the pharmaceutical sector, uh, either in Ireland or, or other countries. And it's designed really to um, educate people in a combination of technology, regulation, business, um, operational excellence. And what you'll see is all of our programs require somebody with a level eight uh, degree with a two, two or higher, primarily in science, quality, engineering, uh, pharmaceutical, or a range of disciplines, a fairly broad range. And the way we run our programs, we run our programs part-time, but for yourselves, it'll run full-time. So what we do is we run our programs four days per week, usually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, run them in the college, obviously in the current environment, what we're doing is we're running all of those courses online. So it's still full days, but we broadcast it live and we have breakout groups. So uh, for all intents and purposes, people are attending the college as normal, but they're doing it online. Maybe we might just move on to the next slide. Let's have a look at where the opportunities are. So over the years, we've had very, very good success in terms of getting uh, students uh, working in all of the pharmaceutical companies that you mentioned earlier on. The key areas would be things like operations management, technology transfer, regulatory, pharmacovigilance, for example, operational excellence, people work in clinical trials, quality assurance, business strategy. So it's a very, very broad range. People might go in as operators, people may work as engineers, as uh, regulatory compliance specialists, depending on what experience they may have already. We have a very, very strong relationship with industry, and I'll talk a lot about that uh, later on. Um, Indrajit, uh, just an example here of somebody who started working in Milan, uh, very, very successful. Um, he's now full-time working in Milan, 
And we put an awful lot of focus on trying to help people into careers. So maybe we might just move to the next slide and let's have a look at the, uh, the content. So this is a typical content for this particular program. So like I said, it's a master's in pharmaceutical business and technology, it's a master's in science. And anybody coming on that program, what you would be doing is you'd be doing modules in the areas of process production, pharmaceutical quality. So learning pharmaceutical manufacturing, biopharmaceutical manufacturing. There's a module around the regulatory landscape. So what are the regulations? What are the new coming regulations? There's a module around technology transfer. So if you're transferring one technology from one industry to another industry, from one facility to another facility, from one lab to another lab, for example. We put a lot of focus on emerging trends, what's happening in the market, what's going to happen in the future, given what's happened in the last year, for example. You know, a lot of industries have had to adapt. The program isn't just about technology. It also talks about things like strategy, leadership, culture of innovation. We do models, modules on the areas of operational excellence, so concepts like Lean, Six Sigma, Design for Six Sigma. And we also focus on things like clinical research, so clinical research management. Um, and then what we do is we prepare people for dissertations, so research methods. And one third of the overall program is to do with a dissertation. So learners will pick a topic in the area of pharmaceutical, um, medical, regulatory, and they would do primary research in those areas. So maybe we might move on to the, the next slide. And this is a new program. This is a new program that was validated last year uh, and is available to international students this year. And this is a program, again, it's a master of science in the area of digital transformation, particularly in life science. And sometimes people might necessarily understand the term digital transformation. And, and I explain that in a bit more detail. Sometimes people think of the term as data analytics, but as we go through it, I'll explain how digital transformation is, is hugely important. And particularly in the context of what has happened over the last year, the amount of organizations that have started to look at transforming their, their businesses, whether it's pharma, non-pharma, doesn't really matter who it is. So maybe we might move on to the next slide. And just to put this in context, um, some of you may be familiar with the idea of Industry 4.0 and the concept of, of Industry 4.0. And within the pharmaceutical industry, you know, the concept of pharmaceutical or pharma 4.0, which is effectively the connectedness of equipment, processes, people, data, and how you use all of that to drive improvement in whatever industry you're in. Maybe you might move to the next slide. And the, just to explain, if you look at any industry and look at what's happened over the last few years, an awful lot of organizations have had to transform their businesses. They had to become more and more of a digital transformation. And if you look at the concept of transformation, it's broken up into three areas. One is the basic idea of you take something that exists in an analog form. Let's say, for example, you're doing an interview and you write the results of the interview on a piece of paper. Digitization of that would be taking that analog information and storing it maybe on a computer. And that in itself is the first step. The second step would be then digitalizing that. So you take that information and you now do something with it. So what you do is you analyze all of the results of all of the interviews over the last year, and you use that idea then to drive improvement. Transformation is doing that on a business level. Transformation is coming up with a very, very different business model, which is a combination of manufacturing, is a combination of technology, combination of data, um, and a combination of other business elements. So maybe what we might do is we move to the next slide. And in this case, what this program is trying to do is it's trying to give people the skills to work in this environment, which is very current and will be the future environment. Every organization or a very large number of organizations, whether it's life science or other industries, will look at the concept of transformation. And when you look at the skills that are required from a student, from a learner perspective, what we're trying to do is we're trying to educate them in all of these areas. First, what we're trying to do is we're trying to educate people around the concept of the smart factory. What does that mean within the pharmaceutical industry, for example, within medical device, within uh, the clinical research area? The next thing you need to do is you need to understand, well, if we were doing that, yes, thanks. If you were doing that, 
what we would need to look at is how would you put a business case together? The concept of quality is going to be completely different. So what we describe today in terms of how you measure quality in the pharmaceutical industry, that might be making a tablet and measuring it after you've made it. But in the future, that would be completely different. It's more about measuring a process that guarantees an output. A large part of this program is around data architecture, data acquisition, data analytics, and how you visualize data and how you present data to make sense and tell a story. And then operational excellence is about this idea of how you take that data and make effective business decisions to improve the process. And this isn't just a technology program because you always need to think about strategy. You need to think about the impact of the organization. You need to think about ethics. What impact does it have in terms of employees, et cetera, as well. And also what we've discovered is there is another set of skills that are really required these days that we would describe as transversal skills. You know, the ability to make sense of something, the ability to question something, the ability to just because you see data today, just because something is presented, how do you know it's true? What's the source? How do you teach people to be agile? How do you teach people to be adaptable? All of these things to work together across virtual environments, all of these skills are just as important as the technical skills. So maybe if we jump to the next slide and we look at um, the actual, um, again, the entry requirements. So in this case, the program is designed primarily for people who want to understand the concept of industry 4.0 and pharma 4.0 and what will that mean for the life science uh, industry now and in the future. And in there we have things like data analytics and data architecture and pharmaceutical manufacturing and all of those concepts. Um, again, if you look at the last part, the person who completes this program, they will be taking up roles within the life science industry particularly any organization that's trying to transform, which is every organization, and how they will have that competency to integrate data, new technologies, analyze data, improve how organizations do their business, and improve the organization structure. Again, the entry requirement will be a 2-2 or higher in manufacturing, quality, computation, engineering, medicine, or those broad areas. It's a master of science, you can see, in digital transformation. So it encompasses all of those elements of data analytics, uh, data architecture, manufacturing, et cetera, as well. So digital transformation is really becoming the key word. If you look at a lot of the different fora that are looking at roles of jobs in the future, they'll all talk about this concept of digital transformation. Again, the structure of this program is exactly the same as the others. It'll run four days a week, Mondays to Thursdays, pretty much full days. Uh, and that will be the structure. We move to the next slide. And if you look at where the career opportunities are, so again, you know, in the areas of digital transformation, so any aspect of any pharmaceutical company or medical device company or clinical company that wants to try and transform what they do. Roles within advanced manufacturing, roles within process analytical technologies or, or new techniques, process digitization or digitalization areas of regulatory affairs, compliance, pharmacovigilance, but also people who want to get involved in data architecture and data analytics, operational excellence and business strategy as well. So you can see that it's, it's quite varied. It's not just purely technological uh, because industry isn't just about technology. It's about lots of other things as well. And you'll see there that the courses, the modules, so the module in advanced manufacturing, there's a module around business case development that I've mentioned, a module on quality, a module around data acquisition. And just to say as well, we've developed this program in conjunction with Microsoft. Um, so they are supporters and they participate on the program as well. There's a module on strategy, module on operational excellence. And then we look at analysis of big data. Um, and then we look at visualization of big data to tell a story. And again, there's a dissertation. And again, people would select a dissertation in any one of the areas that we've just described. You can look at, um, you know, doing a dissertation in those areas. What you might do is maybe just move to the next slide, because uh, a very important point as well that we want to identify is Inner Pharma um, as an organization is an education company, but it's also a technology company. And what we do is we develop technology in the areas of, of um, uh, particle characterization 
or, or process characterization. So for example, if, you have a, if you're making a batch, if you're making a tablet and you want to look at uh, things like blend homogeneity, if you want to look at particle characterization, what we do is we manufacture products. So you can see that, that cylindrical device that bolts onto the side of a, a blender or a granulator. And what that does is it looks at the characterization of the blend. And we have facilities and labs to develop that technology. But having that allows us or allows students um, to do research in those areas. So if somebody wants to do their specific research in that particular area, then we would support them to do that as well. So that, that, is, that relationship is really, really important. Maybe we move to the next slide, please. Um, yeah, what we do is we, let's skip this slide because it's a little bit of detail. I'll keep it high level. Maybe we'll move to the next slide if we can. Um, thanks. One of the things that's really important for us is, is really supporting the student and the learner in terms of getting into careers. Um, obviously, Ireland, like you said, there's lots of opportunities there. Um, you can never guarantee anybody a job, but what you can do is you can help them to develop their network and utilize our network. We spend a lot of time helping students understand what the market is. We spend a lot of time helping with their, with their CVs, with their interview skills, developing their network uh, and the liaison. The majority of our lecturers all work in industry. So I worked in the pharmaceutical industry for a large part of my career. Most of the lecturers work in industry and we have a very, very strong relationship to industry. Uh, we would know a lot of the, the senior managers and most of the pharmaceutical companies on a first name basis. We would have worked with them over the years. We know them very, very well. Um, it's very easy for us to ring up a managing director in a facility and say, there's somebody on this course who think we think would be very useful for your organization. And they would say, send up the CV and, and we'll talk to them. So it's Ireland is, is a small country. We have that kind of relationship with the industry. So from the lecturer, helping them academically, to mentoring and coaching them, to helping them to identify roles. Um, and a large part of what we do is mentor people individually in terms of CVs, careers, giving them references, recommending them into companies. So that's really, really important. Obviously, like I said, you can't guarantee anybody a role, which you can go an awful long way to help them to, to get into roles. So that's a very, very important part of what we do. Maybe we'll move to the next slide. Um, just a comment, I suppose, in terms of COVID, because Ireland is no different than every, any other country. Um, and just a comment on you know, where Ireland is at the moment and what the industry uh, was like pre-COVID and what it's like now and, and what it's like as hopefully we start to come out of it. Um, it. The interesting thing is, if you look at the pharmaceutical industry in Ireland, Ireland's a very small country, you know, five, six million people. It is about the fifth biggest global provider of um, services and product and services supporting COVID globally. Uh, for a country that's so small, it's, it's interesting because we have such a significant uh, pharmaceutical presence here. Prior to COVID, and for us, I suppose it was really February of last year, March of last year, when things started to uh, you know, to move in that direction. Very, very strong life science industry. You know, several of your presenters have, have commented on that. Um, traditionally, what would happen is a lot of the operators, engineers, manufacturing would have been physically working in a company. That would have been the case. Um, pharma, medical device, clinical would have all been very, very strong. All of the pharmaceutical companies would have been expanding and they would have all been recruiting. Um, currently, we're still in, in kind of the most um, high level lockdown. Uh, hopefully that will lift within the next month. Uh, the industry still is very, very busy. Uh, anybody related to vaccine manufacturing or testing or any other services are extremely busy. Um, all those companies are still operational. They're still working. Um, a lot of people are actually just working from home now. Uh, we have a good few students, international students who've got jobs recently. So, and some of those have got jobs and they're all working remotely. Um, the medical device industry is a little bit more volatile, particularly uh, the industry as it supports things like surgeries, for example, because a lot of those would have been delayed. But anybody involved in anything related to COVID or testing are extremely busy. And the clinical trial industry is still quite busy as well. But if you jump to the next slide, you know, the, the news is quite positive. 
Um, because if you look at where we are now and as we start to come out of it, if you look at post-COVID, um, there was uh, some information there in the last few days. Healthcare and manufacturing in, in Ireland, currently we are ahead of where we were this time last year, even before pre-COVID. So if you look at, at uh, um, healthcare is up 16% versus where it was last year prior to COVID, you know, in terms of jobs uh, and the demand for jobs, it's up 16%. Manufacturing is up about 3%, but you can see everywhere else has been, you know, significantly decimated, particularly things like the food industry. But the one area that is doing extremely well is in the, the healthcare, the pharmaceutical industries as well. And it will get stronger, it will remain strong, I think what you'll see as well is a little bit more flexibility in terms of working, which is good. So the prospects for anybody coming here is very, very good. Um, the opportunities are very, very strong and, and, and we expect that to continue. So I think that is my uh, last slide. Maybe you might just move on to the next one. I think I'll hand back to Deepak. Anushree, can you help uh, to unmute Deepak sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Thanks, Finbar. That was, I think, extremely knowledgeable and deep. Thank you so much. I think the students would, would of course, ask this question. But coming on to a different tangent, when student comes to study in Ireland, basically, they all, it's more of a holistic development, not only education, they look forward for other opportunities also. And uh, Ireland, uh, as such as a country, is uh, to promote itself in front of students and to make it more attractive is actually promoting study, work, and settle. So the study part, we've already talked about the program and the opportunities uh, uh, beyond the, the education. But during your education, you're also allowed students want to get that Irish working experience, which is quite healthy to have also because it's going to be helping you in the future when you apply for a full-time job also. So, so students are allowed to work during their studies. Uh, a minimum wage rate of 9.25 hours is allowed to, to be given to the students, um, 20 hours per week and 40 hours during vacation. Um, and But it's very important, and I underline the statement, it's very important to basically uh, uh, balance your work and part-time study. The part-time work is just given to you not to take care of your living expenses but then healthy working environment so that you are accustomed that what is expected out of you i always tell my students that is, uh, you have come here for a study visa so, so a short-term pain is long-term gain as in like if you study well you and, and you pass and you uh, and you uh, with meritorious uh, results you, the opportunity will be standing on your doors rather than you walking to them for in terms of full-time work so it's very diff uh, very important to underline that there should be a, um, a fine balance between work and st study, basically. So study is supposed to be a priority. Next slide, please. So what do you do now? We're talking about the work, study, and settle opportunities. Uh, when you complete your level nine masters, you are allowed to, uh, under the graduate employment scheme, and this graduate employment scheme can, this information in detail can be Googled under the website, which is just mentioned below. So the students are allowed to stay back since you complete a level nine program, which is a master's, you're allowed to stay back. It's a breathing space. It's not a work visa, but it's, it's basically a breathing space given to students to basically convert that, uh, that's job search visa into a real time job. So the criteria is that you get a first 12 month job search visa for, uh, on, on, and you extend it another for one other, another year if you've completed your one, uh, uh, one year uh, master's, which is level nine. Okay, the full information is available on www.entemp.ie or you can just say graduate employment scheme Ireland and you'll have a, the government website open up to you. Next slide. So this, this does convert into uh, an opportunity that if you are working in Ireland for, for, uh, for, for about five years and your minimum wage or minimum salary is above 30,000 euros, you're allowed to apply for your long-term residency visa also. <coughs> Sorry, 
So the postgraduate employment, the graduate employment scheme starts from a study visa, leads into a job search visa for two years, and it's on to you and the capabilities and the, and the academic capabilities given and, and the direction shown by Griffith College, because we do have a career placements office also, which direct you towards how to apply for a job, where to apply for a job. And you have 24 months given by the government as a breathing space. So it's it's on to you whether on the, on the second month or the 24th month, the moment you get your job, you convert it into a work permit. And if that work permit gives you 30,000 euros, which is about 22,500 euros uh, per month, easy to get for master students, specifically for the form of pharmaceuticals perspective. And we've had lots of students get, getting over 32 grand over the year. My last example, I would like to quote when Mr. Sairam, who got basically uh, in, in, Johnson, in, in Johnson and Johnson's for about 36 grand. He was He's a student from Bangalore. So, um, so there, there are real time testimonies from students who are actually getting into the work permit. And yes, if you're under that category and above 30,000 euros, you can apply for your long term residency visa. So the study work settle policy is available in Ireland. So you can have a big, good future from an education point, point of view from a working point of view and from a settlement settlement point of view, which Indian students like to write. I'd say it's kind of a two-way traffic because even the government is promoting it because it, it requires good students to come across, study well, contribute to the society, contribute to the taxation system of Ireland. And if you're doing all of these three and you're not missing a link, the government wants to have these good students stay back and apply for their residency. Okay, next slide. I think that's the end from my side also. Okay, so sorry. Student visa. Uh, we've had a very good relationship with the visa office and we've, we are receiving, oh, I mean, Mr. Sony can say about it. He's got a 100% approval rate and all the visa office is looking at strong academics, which is of course proven because a quality and a respected college like us has given you an admission. So that one stage is already uh, 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 taken care of or they're very satisfied. The finances, of course, Mr. Sony can give a separate presentation to individual students, but what an overview, the student is supposed to show their living expenses and the tuition fees, putting them together in their mixed bag of documents. When I say mixed bag, there are various ways of showing your uh, finances and you need to demonstrate that you have enough funds to, uh, to the Embassy of Ireland that you are capable of self-study and being financed by your sponsor, which could be your either your grandfather, grandmother, it could be your mother, mother, father, or it could be partially the, uh, the, the credit loan system, which is called the education loan under the study visa category. And the third would be, of course, before admission, you would have actually given an English proficiency level, just to tell you that all our masters are for one year and, uh, and uh, we require a 6.5 in your IELTS, not less than, uh, than 5.5 in any module. So that's the overview of the student visa uh, and the entry requirements uh, basically say at, if to, to get into the pharmaceutical program or any other master's program, you of course need to qualify in under entry requirements. You should have a minimum of 6.5 CGPA or 65% and above equivalent to get an admission in any of our master's program. Next slide. So me and Finberg can, uh, We'll be happy to take any questions uh, which we have from students or Mr. Sony. Over to you, please. Students, you can use the chat options, uh, put questions, and we have also given two WhatsApp numbers to you. So put your questions and Anushri or someone else from the office can represent the right questions and we can spend some, some time together. Students, over to you. There is a question about the placement levels for the last two, three years uh, after MS pharmaceutical programs. Finber? Yeah, um, not seeing the question, but um, uh, we, we, so just to clarify, so we, we don't provide a placement directly. Obviously, we will help students to try and work with industries to, to get placements. And th there is a significant success rate in terms of students getting placements. In fact, what we do is we actually recruit and hire. Uh, we have required a lot of students ourselves. We have a validation uh, section within our own organization where we've hired people um, and we actually get them jobs to work in pharmaceutical companies as validation engineers as well. So the focus is more so around helping people to get into full-time jobs and part-time jobs as opposed to actually finding placements for them. So 
don't know if well, that answers the question. If I if I can come in, Finber, on uh, from an Indian standpoint, students, we are very used to. I mean, when we graduate, that the companies come in or uh, somebody has been placed for X amount or Y amount. And generally, we kind of, I've investigated myself, generally students are not happy with their placements uh, and they're kind of working for different industries. But it does not happen the same as it happens in India. It's different, uh, different in Europe and the Western world. Is the assistance and the direction shown to you? We only show you the path. You have to walk the path. We can't go into an HR manager's office and hire my 10 student. That does not happen in the Western world. Uh, but the, the academic program is very strong. The training given during the program is very strong. The direction given, and more importantly, as Finber said, we help and direct students. Like, for example, CVs in India and CVs in Ireland or the Western world are very different. How to develop your CD, how to profile yourself, how to network. And by and large, we've seen a lot of success in the students coming back with interview calls, the first in all, multiple interview calls, and they're successful, whether they're starting at, at any position. But, uh, but in my experience, personally, from the last years which we were running the program, students have been very satisfied. And I'm already giving you one example of a student called Sairam from Bangalore, who was recruited with Johnson Johnson. Yeah, and, and even just to comment on that further, uh, some of the other questions that are there about... Um, you know, the, do you need experience and about getting jobs in Ireland? Our focus is, is really to help you to get into a job. So um, absolutely, there are jobs there. You don't need pharmaceutical experience to get into the industry. Um, yes. A lot of students would work maybe as operators initially, and they would use that as their opportunity to, to get into the organization. And most of those organizations would pay around the you know, late 20,000 euros um, and then once you start to get into a permanent job, which most people will probably give you a six month contract to see how you're doing. And if they're happy, then they would convert, convert that into a full time job. Um, you know, again, I, I, the example that I can think of, I hired a, a previous student, uh, one of our previous cohorts. He worked for me for about six months. He's now working with me full time as a liaison with international students. And, you know, he's he's earning well in excess of thirty two thousand at this stage, I won't quote his salary, but it's well in excess of that. Uh, so absolutely, there are roles there. There are opportunities. You don't have to have pharmaceutical experience to work in the industry. And the other thing we do is we will bring in companies. We will, we will approach companies and say, these are students who are graduating. So come in and talk. Uh, come in and um, interview them if you want to do that. So again, our focus is we feel it's more important to try and help somebody to get into a full-time job rather than a placement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have given a WhatsApp number for the students. So I'm getting a few questions, which I'm reading for them. What kind of job profiles are they getting as their first job? Typically the first job, uh, depending on the experience, but typically a first job may be an operator working in a, in a manufacturing facility. Um, that could be in somebody like Myland, Pfizer, uh, they may work as an operator maybe for, for six months and then they would either move up uh, in terms of within manufacturing, maybe technician, engineer. Also, people would get roles in pharmacovigilance. So what we find is a lot of people with knowledge of regulatory or pharmacovigilance would get an, a, a role there. They might get involved in auditing. They might get involved in compliance. Um, the other areas people tend to get jobs is in the areas of validation. So they might get a job as a junior validation engineer. A lot of companies are putting in new processes. So all of those processes have to be validated. And in the area of validation, you can start off as a junior validation engineer and then progress into more senior roles. And the last place there's opportunities, depending on maybe whether somebody has experience, would be in the areas of quality assurance or, or quality control as well. But I would say the big one would be operations and probably validation. Yeah, here is a question on academics. Uh, a student is asking, uh, other than BFARM and FARMD, there are some students after chemistry uh, joining this program. So is it very tough for them to make it up? And what kind, kind of percentage of students are making it in the first attempt itself on their MS? Do we have failures? Um. I mean, I think in every course you'll you'll have failures. Uh, I think the the failure rate is quite low, um, but you know the thing about it is if sometimes it's it's difficult for somebody to move to the other side of the world, obviously, and 
and settle in and get used to academic life and you know things happen and and people fail but that's not a problem people have an opportunity to go back and you know repeat or redo exams that is absolutely fine and we put an awful lot of support on that uh, failure isn't a bad thing um, as long as you learn from it um, you know so no problem with that we do support people as much as we can um, as long as people put in the effort that's the most important thing you know the people have the right attitude um, attitude I would say is is everything or a very large part of it um, skill you can teach attitude I will hire somebody for attitude the right attitude any day of the week um, skill I can teach so having the right attitude having the right motivation uh, willing to help, willing to support others, to be an honest individual. Do those things, you'll get a job anywhere. You know, and, and those are things that we really, really value in this country and obviously in the industry as well. Okay. And there's three questions. Um, uh, sir, I have one question. Is it audible? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Myself, it's uh, Dr. Matthew Paul, head of the Department of uh, Chemistry, Southern Bay College and also vice principal. My first question is, I have a student who has passed MSc in pharmaceutical chemistry. So have, is there any research facilities courses in uh, Griffith College, uh, Ireland? And my second question is, I have another student who has passed BSc chemistry with agri, that is uh, around 90% marks. And what about the masters in Griffith College, Ireland? You want me to take that, Deepak? Excuse me? Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, Mr. Finber, I think the question is to you. Oh, yeah, cool. Sorry. Um, yeah, so obviously anybody who has a chemistry qualification can access the program. The program um, isn't necessarily designed to develop their expertise in chemistry. Uh, but if somebody is coming with a chemistry qualification and that, combine that with the masters that they would do in Griffith, then that would give them a good opportunity to get into the areas of um, quality control, for example. If somebody wanted to develop specifically their career and knowledge in the areas of chemistry, then the programs that I was talking about probably wouldn't be the best courses for those people. But if somebody wanted to combine their chemistry knowledge with a broader range of technology regulation within the industry, yes, there are opportunities for those people. And we would have people who would have come with chemistry backgrounds, uh, a range of backgrounds, um, and developed their skills and worked in the industry. So not sure if that answers your question. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Deepak sir, a question to you uh, uh, about the budgets required for a one-year master program, the total budget requirement. Uh, Anushtri, Deepak sir is on mute. By mistake, please unmute. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry about that. So you, your question was? The, uh, the budget requirement for doing one-year masters, total budget requirement. Well, the tuition fees of our one-year master is about 13 to 14,000 euros, which in an Indian currency is about uh, 9 to 10 lakh rupees, approximately. And uh, the, the living expenses would, could range from anywhere from seven to 10,000 euros if you're coming to Dublin. Basically, it's all on your lifestyle and what kind of uh, accommodation if you're choosing. But, uh, but I think under 10,000 euros would be good, which is under 7 to 8 lakhs. So you're looking at about 15 to 17 lakhs for the full master's. Uh, for the one-year masters, and then you get into your graduate employment scheme. Okay. Students, do we have any more questions? Yes, students. We have just one more minute before we are, we wind up the session. So, if you have any more questions kindly uh, put in the chat box right now or I'll share a WhatsApp number 
in which you can post the questions later. There is a question there about the Masters in Regular Affairs and Toxicology. Now, that isn't a program that we offer in Griffith College, so I'm not sure what that program is. Okay, that was a question uh, uh, for from Europe. Uh, they're asking for a program. I shall answer it later. Okay. Students, uh, the programs which is not with the Griffith, uh, we shall uh, get back to you tomorrow. Yeah, I have noted all these questions and we will get back to you to your numbers. Well, thank you so much, uh, Finber, uh, for taking our time for us. And I think thank you so much, Mr. Sony, and both the colleges have been putting this together. I know it's late in India, but apparently, uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Sony, specifically to you. You've been a great supporter of Griffith College, and um, we'll, we'll we really love, love and your support and your effort which you put in organizing all these uh, excellent fairs. And anytime you want us both back, we'd be more, more than happy to be back. Mm -hmm. and Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, Mr. Finber, you are saying something. Yes. Um, again, just to recognize or just offer my thanks. I'm delighted to be part of this and, and would really welcome, look forward to any of your students coming to Ireland. Um, there is one final question there from Nimi about having clinical research experience and would that help to get a job in Ireland? Absolutely, it would. Uh, one of the modules is in the areas of clinical research. Clinical research is very strong in Ireland. So anybody coming with experience, the, the first masters I talked to will develop your experience in clinical research. So that would be a big advantage, I would say, as well. So again, many thanks. Um, delighted to be part of this webinar and, and hopefully we may get to see some of you at some point in time in Ireland. Yes. That was really wonderful, uh, uh, Deepak Sar and Mr. Mr. Finber, because there's a big combination. Someone is talking about all the scope of the country and someone from the industry and academic side giving them the technical answers. Wonderful combination. We look forward. When we speak now, we have around 25 students flying from uh, through Easling Academy to Ireland Griffith College for this intake. So for next intake, it is 60, 65 numbers. So we look forward to these kind of programs at a reasonably good frequency. Thank you so much. And do we have an official word of thanks from the college? Yes, sir. Uh, for yeah. the word of thanks, I invite Dr. Robinson from IQAC department, Christ College, Irinyalekuda. Robinson, sir, please. Thank you. Uh, today's speakers, Mr. Finber, Mr. Deebak, Mr. Sony Varghese. It was great to listen to you all. The session was so informative and we, are, we know that many of our students are interested to take up their higher studies, especially in the field of pharmaceuticals. And great thank you to all the organizing team. Personally, I would like to thank the officials of Sardaya College, Father Davis, Dr. Jensen, Dr. Matthew Paul, and others for giving this opportunity to host the event from the side of Sardaya College. Dear students, I'm so delighted about your presence during this night and a word of gratitude to EasyLink Academy especially to Mr. Biju Varghese for organizing this event. Wishing you the best. Good night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.